Hey, doesn't that guy look familiar? That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the KFC Go Cup, so I made a commercial. And hi, it's Garrett here. Now, this is my new KFC commercial, How Do You KFC Hashtag. I think it's an excellent idea for people to get um, their thoughts across. And so bear with me for a couple of moments. I'm going to get my thoughts across. And this is a very um, totally true story. And I think probably by the time I'm done telling it, it's going to be, you'll be incredulous to what's going on. First off, let me preface it uh, by saying, um, I don't know, 30, 35 years ago, uh, I worked for Kentucky Fried Chicken. That was my job in high school, and I loved it because it taught me what teamwork is all about and what hard work is all about and having a manager that lets you have fun at work sometimes, and that's important too. So when I worked at KFC back in 1980 through 82 or 83 or whatever it was, the same manager who was my manager back then is the manager of my local KFC, which is on 13 Mile Road in Warren, Michigan, 48088. Now, rewind about a year ago, I would not wish my life on anyone. Things were so bad that um, at one point I had no utilities. My utilities got shut off for non-payment. And without a car, it's very hard for a person of my age to get an eight dollar an hour job, minimum wage, seven fifty or whatever it is. I went around, so every day was a challenge and it got to the point where my utilities were shut off. And my refuge was I would take my bike and I'd pedal for three or four minutes and I'd be up at KFC. And I brought my computer and boy what a great bunch of people. And the same manager is the manager there now. And just like it was three decades ago, she hires good people. And those people, I always had the same spot that I went, my computer, and they knew my order was, give me um, uh, uh, chicken littles. I always spent something. I never freeloaded. Well, apparently, I'm the first person in the history of the world, there was one or more individuals who were made uncomfortable by my presence. So what they do, if you make somebody uncomfortable when you're the public and somebody who works in the public sector is waiting on you, or you make them uncomfortable to place of work, here's what they do. They call the police and they get a trespass warrant. And they say, don't ever come back here or else you'll be arrested. Now this was back in June of last year, June of 2013. This is nine months. I made approximately 20 phone calls to the KFC in Louisville, Kentucky, who I know had viewed my videos, and they even complimented me one time about my video and thanked me. Now, for the past nine months, um, occasionally I would run into some of my friends from KFC, and they would treat me in a way like I was toxic. They didn't want to talk to me. Now, the other day, um, I ran into someone who I haven't seen in months, not since the day that the police came and told me not to come back. And what perplexed me is I said, hi, and they said, hi, and they said, I'm really not supposed to be talking to you. I go, what do you mean? And they said, Kentucky Fried Chicken dictates what we do. I go, what do you mean? Even out of work? And, yeah, even out of work. And I thought that was odd. So anyway, I asked, and I go, who complained there about me? Who complained that I made them uncomfortable? Well, they didn't know. Or they told me they didn't know, and I believe this person. Okay, so that was just the other day. I made a call back to KFC, and I started thinking about, my gosh, I'm going to be famous. I'm the first person ever in the history of the world who made somebody uncomfortable on the other side of the counter, whether it's at Kentucky Fried Chicken or at the bank or at the grocery store or wherever. And when you do that, they tell you, don't ever come back again or else you'll be arrested. And that's what KFC told me. That's what KFC told me. KFC. This is good for when you have to make notes. It's kind of like um, a stick-up. Stick up. So anyway, that's the thing. And I don't think I have to, should have to go five miles out of the way to the other KFC when there's one within practically walking distance. And by the way, everything's within walking distance if you have the time. 
But anyway, getting back to the thing, and I feel so bad because I ran into the manager of the store, and she says, Garrett, oh my gosh, I can't, I don't know. And then there's this guy, Derek, the area coach. I don't even want to go there. But anyway, um, I just want to be able to go, when I feel like it, into that Kentucky Fried Chicken, get my product when I need to be, say hello to my friends maybe, and then go home. Now look at that. Look, 1141 hits. That, that's pretty neat. I'd I, 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 I like to see that commercial go on the air. But this commercial is going on the air. Hashtag KFC. And I'm going to promote it a lot. And if you think that this video, like I said, you'll be incredulous when you hear the story, pass it along to someone else. Because um, if you ever make somebody uncomfortable, they will call the police, the police will come and frisk you for weapons or whatever, and they will say, don't ever come back. But I like KFC. I like KFC so much I did that. Come on, KFC, you're wrong. This is Garrett. I'll see you next time.